Okay guys, this is the Carlisle station and we're just going to head up the castle to start the wall again. So, just got the uh, train from Hogwarts to sort of Carlisle. So we're just going to head up the castle and uh, find the wall again, like I just said. <laughs> Let's go. Just by the Carlisle Castle, where we finished the last leg of the walk. So we're just going to head down there, down the river. And I think you basically follow the river all the way to Solway now. I think it's about 40 miles. So yeah, looking forward to it. Probably do about six miles, seven miles a day, and then the seven in the final. So yeah, let's go. I just come round the back of the castle, down to Bits Park which is like on the river and then you just basically follow this track all the way around the side of this sports stadium athletic track very well signed post it is the rest of the wall has been up to now so don't worry you won't get lost and, uh, yeah we've just done like a big loop on this side of that sports centre just past the young lady there who's just started the wall this morning, just got about 12 miles under a belt, so that was a good look on offshore end. And uh, yeah, my lovely ladies put me sandwiches up for it today, so I'm going to stop and eat them shortly. And uh, I'm going to, that was jerky a bit. And yeah, just let me see, I have something to sit on and get them. Nice day for walking, it's about 14 degrees. And uh, quite cloudy, so it's not too sunny. And uh, yeah, perfect conditions. So, catch up with you in a bit. Okay, so you can see that bridge over there. That's uh, it's not getting used nowadays. It was to carry the tracks of the Border Union Railway. It opened in 1859. Obviously, it's closed now. You can see the plants and whatnot going up the top of it. So we're just as I said before, we're just going to follow the river now, the River Eden. There's some more footpaths just to keep on track. And uh, yeah, just a nice little walk along the river. Very, very pleasant. I just had me sandwiches, and they were nice. So I feel a bit refueled. Refu so yeah, I've got the hiccups. remnants of the buildings and mills or whatever and it looks like part of a motorbike <laughs> and a shopping trolley there always seems to be a shopping trolley doesn't there whenever there's sort of rubbish shopping trolley your traffic cones always seem to be there I don't know, I think it's a kind of uh, kind of trek for a shopping trolley to get all the way down here As you can see, look, there's the barriers up on the bridge. Stop you going over. It's dangerous now. The river's quite low. And there's a tree that's uh, managed to get so far down before getting stuck there. Lovely. There's probably a few fish in there. Village of Grinstall. Nice little village. And I think that little stall thing there, I think a little honesty box. So why don't we go and have a look and see if it is? That's a few hikers there. I just had a bit of a uh, scare actually. Back there, about a mile back there. I was walking through a little bit of woodland and uh, there was a young lad probably. In my early 20s, wearing a tracksuit, like a sort of chava type, and he had one hand down his pants, which was a bit weird. And uh, as I walked past him, he asked us what the time was. So I told him the time. So he was walking towards us, um, 
And as I walk past, I got probably about 20 metres away from him. And he turned round and he started following us. Now, whether that was coincidence or not, I don't know. But uh, he was walking quite slowly. I thought he was uh, he was on off on something. He wasn't. He didn't see himself. So anyway, um, I walked a bit fast, put a bit of space between me and him. And then I met a couple who were sitting on a bench further along. So I stopped to see how they hit them. And when I turned around, he had disappeared. So I think he's long gone now, but uh, got a little bit sketchy for a minute there. You know, he could have been an innocent lad. But uh, I was ready, you know, and you sort of brace yourself. And the adrenaline starts pumping. And you think, this is cool, I'll kick off in a minute. So, yeah, but anyway, it all seems to be okay now. Yeah, look, this is a little honesty box at the back of it. How about that, eh? That's good, isn't it? Very good. I think it's good little things like that. Yeah, you know, just nice. A way of getting a refill if you need one, or so I'm making a little bit of pocket money. So yeah, we're coming through this lovely village. And uh, as I say, hopefully no one bum into that looney tune again. But it did uh, it did get me hard pumping a little bit. Maybe if uh, maybe it was stalling my mind. Maybe it was just a bloke, a young lad, starting to walk. But you know, I always think you you listen to your gut spidey sense or whatever it's called you know you get that feeling you listen to it so anyway he's long gone now right so I'll continue on just had a little bit of elevation there you just come up a little bit and look at the views that's Scotland up there is it the Munro's I think is it anything over 800 meters, something like that. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, most of this walk's just meadows. Quite flat. A few little bits you go up and down and the little bits of woods and across the little footbridges, but nothing strenuous. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty flat now. I think it's probably going to be like that all the way to the end. He's on high alert because there's sheep in the field over there. He's got his ear on, so he's not going anywhere. Seems a lot warmer than it is. It's quite like a close heat. Like sticky. Sweaty. There's no breeze at all. So, the midges will probably be out later. finish the walk by then. I think the day we're going to probably walk to a place called the Bur Burg Burg on Sands. So a few more miles yet. So going the book from Carlisle to the end, you know, 14 miles. So I can get anywhere over seven today. And then it's like less than halfway next time if you know what I mean. Let's see, because I am currently four and a half mile in, so doing well, no problems, just enjoying it. Yeah, so at least another two and a half mile, I think, today. And uh, I get this, my lovely lady said she was going to do the last stretch with us. What about that, eh? So we'll see if that comes off. That'd be nice. Nice way to finish. Hi guys. We're at Beaumont. So we are currently at just over five and a half miles in for a day. Um, I think we're trying to get about seven to eight in. So we're just heading up the road 
the village of Beaumont. Lake Bell Beaumont. Take a look at there. So you can probably hear. We seem to be getting followed by a crow. The last 20 minutes or so. Keep squawking. The following way. That's alright, that's what happens when you're in the country. You get all the country animals and country noises. So there's not much the the water to be honest on this stretch now. Um I think you know once the Romans got past Carlisle, or near Carlisle, they stopped building it from a stone. And they just made it out of earth. Like a big sort of bump if you like. And um, there's a couple of theories behind that. One is there wasn't the stone. It's hard to quarry around here because it was more sandstone. And the other theory is that by the time they got as far as here, they realised that the, the people north of the wall weren't that much of a threat. And another theory was that the Roman Emperor at the time didn't really see the point in the wall. So times had changed and they decided it wasn't that as an important feature as they wanted it to be when they started off. And uh, so yeah, so there's very little to see wall wise. Still a nice pleasant walk though. We're just on a little bit of a diversion at the minute, come off the river because it's been a landslip, so that's why we're on a little country road. That's the first car I've seen in about 15 minutes, so you couldn't really see it was busy. Um, so yeah, now what I do believe though, in about a mile or so time, we do actually come across the remains of a Roman fort. Now, when it says remains of a Roman fort, that might just be a couple of stones in a field. I don't know, but we'll know how to find out. But well, we will find out because we're going to walk straight over the top of it. So yeah, this is just Beaumont. Very nice. There's a little church back there. And it's got uh, afternoon teas on on a Sunday. Between two and five. So if you're walking a stretch of road, on a Sunday, between two and five, and you want a cup of tea, you can get one. <laughs> but if you want to hit on a Monday, to do a Saturday, you probably won't be able to. I don't know if you see that Eva. Where is it? There, the little blue sign. The Rivas. Cycle Route 72. That follows quite a bit of the walk. And the wall, there you are. Fly Road, Carlisle, it's for the Cola, and Berg, Berg, Sandfield, it's for the Cola. This is part of country now, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, well, little church. Oh, Tractors and everything. Smell the cow muck. Part of country. Love it. Absolutely love it. Love the country. Obviously, as some of you know, I live on the coast, the east coast near Whitby Bay. Lived there for about 20, oh, uh, for, 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 for 40, 40, 45 years, nearly, nearly all my life. But uh, I'm a country man. I'll take the country any day of the week. Maybe that's just because I've got the coast, like, on my doorstep. I don't know. But, uh, one day I'll relocate the country. Yeah. Right. Onwards and upwards. Right, we've just got the little village of Bergs on Sands. So that probably gives it a bit of a way. That one must be somewhere near the other way. Because it's on Sands. Well, I think it's just over to, the, over to the right there to start the solway. 
somewhere over that way anyway. Sort of south, sorry, northwest of where we are. So, yeah, and we're just heading towards Longsburg, where my mum and dad's meeting with. And they're going to pick her up and go if we have a flask of tea. That's uh, one good thing about them living over this side of the country. Come in handy for when you do a walk like this. <laughs> Free taxi back to the train station. But yeah, it'd be good to see them. So, a lot of this walk has been flat, like I said before. Um, not a great deal to see. A lot of it's fields. Something's got some nice views of the hills, isn't it? Towards Scotland Way. Nice little villages. But Adrian's wall wise, nothing really, if I'm honest. But uh, it's all part of the route though. So to do the wall, we've got to do this bit. I'm looking forward to getting towards Bowness, seeing the Solway. That'll be nice. Then have a little run on the beach, hopefully. See what it's like. Yeah, one more hike and I'll be done at the end. Come on you! Right, I'll turn this off because I'm on a busy main road and I want to keep him under control. Eight and a half miles done and here's the parents with a basket of goodies for a look. <laughs> Oh, thank you guys. Nothing for you, Kylo. See how little mother you was then? Hello, hi everybody. And not come much right out of you? Hello there, good guys. Right, <laughs> till the next one. We've just finished Is the that walk. Way. We've just well, finished the walk. See you next time. <laughs>